Again, the UK is leading by example, and we need others to step up. Because my second message is this. As I said in September, we won't tackle climate change unless we take people with us. Climate politics is close to breaking point. The British people care about the environment. They know that the costs of inaction are intolerable, but they also know that we have choices about how we act. So yes, we'll meet our targets, but we'll do it in a more pragmatic way, which doesn't burden working people. Can you honestly say, hand on heart, that none of the people you've spoken to today have brought up or raised any concern about the recent changes you made in green policy in the UK? Hand on heart, 100%, no. Not a single leader that I've spoken to today has spoken about that. Do you know why? Because most of their targets are less ambitious than the UK's. Just take one example, the phase-out of petrol cars, of ICE vehicles, right? Well, we previously had a date that was 2030. What did I do? that was apparently so dramatic, I changed it to 2035. You know why no one's raised it with me? It's because basically every other country in the world is using 2035 as their target. France, Spain, Italy, Germany, Australia, Sweden, multiple states in America, Canada. That's why, because what we're doing is eminently reasonable and we've done more than everyone else. And actually what everyone's spoken to me about today is how the UK is playing a leadership role. I, I shift a date to be in line with basically every other country and it's somehow portrayed as some extreme measure. I think that just tells you that this debate has been polarised by extremes and that's not healthy or good for the country.